a Broadcasting Hall of Famer, Bob Murphy. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's got pneumonia or something, but I think he went in the hospital and said, uh, I think my leg is hurting. Oh, wait, it's my lungs? <laughs> I missed it. Hang my Eddie back, back. And that one's out of here. Oh, bro. Oh, what, he caught it? <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear that clip? We can't play it anymore because faggots at the fan won't let us uh, play that clip. Bob Murphy stinks. <laughs> yeah, he stinks. We can play the clip. I got a whole tape of Bob Murphy. Just no, we'll play the it. clip. Oh. The calorie guy fly ball in deep center field. <laughs> Here's the clip. Here's the clip. You sound like that about. kid in his pants tonight. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Tower. You use the words like tower. Jay, listen to this. Ball. This, this is a, a very embarrassing moment for Bob Murphy. The pitch. High fly ball. It leads the left center field. It's way back. It may be playable. Agbayani can't get a play. It's gone. A home run. Oh, he caught it. <laughs> I thought sure he was unable to reach it. It's caught by Agmayani, and I apologize. He was way out there, and it didn't look like he had a play on it, but he caught it against the wall in left center field. <laughs> look, if you're way out there, then you would have a play on it. Right. <laughs> oh. He was so close to the ball because of the amount of real estate he covered, I didn't think he got it. <laughs> Bob Murphy should have a cup of prostate cancer thrown on him. Oh, God damn. Hey, easy. Jesus. Easy, man. Not prostate. making the Met fans happy. My blood pressure right now is nine over five. There's a pop-up. <laughs> Sedano. Gone! <laughs> There's a slow-rolling grounder. Just a second. Wait. Oh, no, it's a home run. Wait that a minute. Ball. I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. I'm still home. That ball hooking. <laughs> ball one. <laughs> my dump going into the bedpan. No, wait. He missed it. It's all over my bed. Rafael Santana picked up a dead bird. <laughs> Debbie, what's your problem? Hello. I take offense to anybody that says anything bad about Ma Bob Murphy. He's what the about Bob Murphy? Thank you, Hilda. <laughs> you're saying that he sucks. Thank, you, thank you, Christine. Murphy. I love you. Wait a minute. Thank I'm you, Barbara. Jim Norton said he sucked. Yeah, I never said uh, Bob Murphy We're, sucks. I, I love listening Jim Norton to him. Said, Norton said that he sucked, and I love Bob no, Murphy. No, I apologize. If you want to come down, you can talk to me face to ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know I'm not short? <laughs> Why don't you just shut up, you bitch? Oh, wait a minute. I like Thank her. you very oh, okay. much. I'm, re I'm giving respect to Bob Murphy. All right, Debbie. Thank you. I heard my eyebrows fell out. What happened to me? <laughs> A wheelchair ridden. Oh, wait, they didn't? <laughs> Winter season's <laughs> over. <laughs> Why is it snowing? <laughs> oh hell, I'm at the jet game. I got a, I, <laughs> I got a uh, videotape of all baseball, like guys rushing the mound and stuff. But a lot of it's Bob Murphy and a lot of it's Harry Carey. I, I, is there a way I can just make it an audio tape, like in the studio oh, here? Yeah. Oh, that rock. I yeah. got Harry Carey going. It's like, he was obviously like in mid chug. Like <laughs> it had to make if you sip it, you can get back on track. Right. He must have been like, "I'm gonna put this beer down <laughs> <laughs> before anybody realizes I'm drink." There's a shot. First is grace. It's out. The ball like rolls to the. Uh, <laughs> the ball literally rolls to the wall at, at Wrigley into the some, into the brick wall. He goes, there, "There's a shot." Gone! <laughs> third, Grace! Safe! Oh! Because Grace was out at third. Round first! Grace! Safe! Oh! <laughs> Hideki Ar Arabu Aruba. I think the proper pronunciation, Harry, is Arabu. Well, whatever the name, George Steinbrenner has an excellent opportunity to fatten up his Japanese pitch record <laughs> <laughs> on tape uh, i want to hear that great. sully what's going on what's up fellas hey yo you ever hear him sully. cough up the lung cookies on the air oh yeah he'll, he'll go off mic and you'll hear like a coughing in the background <laughs> <laughs> then you'll hear the ping, you know like someone runs with a bucket <laughs> hey I'm, I'm still drinking that <laughs> 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 with the scores had five five Hey, Bob! <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> How about I buy you fly? <laughs> <laughs> How are the lungs, Bob?
Oh. <laughs> the exercise will get some blood. There's a home run by Hunley. <laughs> the exercise will help you. I love exercise. Got a, lot of, got a lot of fluid backing up in my lungs. My epiglottis is like a pool skimmer flap. <laughs> well, the exercise will loosen up all the phlegm. As all the phlegm loot, the benches are cleared. <laughs> I, I just made like, an epiglottis <laughs> joke, Norton. I, sound like, I, I know, but I was more ashamed of myself that I broke from Harry Carey into Little Nicky. <laughs> hey, how about I buy you Fly. <laughs> Effective. <laughs> Melissa, what's oh. going on? Melissa. Hello. Hi. Hey. What, what do you have to add to this mess? All right. The way Bob Murphy says Colorado Rockies, Colorado Rockies is yeah. terrible. Colorado Rockies. It's like a uh, mouthful of phlegm. And also Alfonso is Go. like... Al Falonzo. He has like extra L in there somewhere. Al Falonzo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. He's from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> <laughs> and where's number nine? <laughs> nine backwards is in them. <laughs> the Mets would like to get back in this in and back in in this ball game. <laughs> Galarraga backwards is Galarraga. <laughs> Why does the coach have his clothes off? <laughs> you know Bob. <laughs> Ray Ordonia is as bad as certainly come around for the Mets, but they're losing games. <laughs> Maybe you'd rather have the guy who not hit a lick. And just let the big... I can't do a little Nicky again. <laughs> let the big guys knock the ball right out of the park. <laughs> you got the little Nicky now, man. <laughs> Holy Jesus. Very funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Steve Trashel. Mike Hampton looks like a gay, curious George. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what's up? Oh, hey, guys. Holy ass. That is Joe. brutal. Yeah. Joe, what's on your mind? <laughs> hey, guys. I'm just wondering if maybe there's a uh, Beyond the Glory in the works for Bob Murphy and Harry Carey. Oh, yeah. Could Thanks be. for getting us back on track. <laughs> Could be. Right. Stinky rules, guys. All right. <laughs> that was Stinky from the other studio. Yeah, uh, Stinky's the best out. <laughs> All the ladies loving the Bob Murphy and the uh, Harry Carey. A man who once drank eight beers in a single inning. A man who could have five steaks and two bottles of wine. A man who could drink crystal meth and liquid acid and Dilaudid, Rehibinol, every drug under the sun, NyQuil, Robitussin, and still get on the mic night after night after night with phlegm in his lungs. This is Bob Murphy. Beyond the glory. <laughs> <I love that. laughs> Harry Carey was a man that didn't recognize his own sons. <laughs> Fans loved him. And then tragedy. I remember one time I was in a bar in St. Petersburg during... <laughs> it was either the playoffs or spring training. And I remember I found a prostitute with Bob Murphy. Bob, do you, do you remember that gal? I remember her. We tag teamed her. It was kind of nice. We put her out in the rotisserie and played pinochle on her back. That's what I wanted to talk about. Bro. <laughs> you, I'm, I'm not done with that. <laughs> Bob had the front end, if you will. Could someone just uh, put a wet vac down my windpipe? <laughs> we'll get to it. <laughs> I had the back end and realized halfway through that, well, this, this, there's, a, there's a home run by Mark Grace. <laughs> I realized halfway through that she had a penis. Harry Carey definitely sporting the high hard one that night. <laughs> You're not lying, Bob Murphy. Why? why <laughs> one thing the cat, <laughs> one, I, I always said the one. <laughs> Bob, look at this kid over here. The look of surprise on the girl's face when I hacked a loogie on her back and she thought I was finished. <laughs> she spun around and I gave it to her. Both barrels. You're watching Beyond the Glory. Bob Murphy and Harry Carey. <laughs> Ever notice when you sit out in the sun a long time, your head gets pink? <laughs> you would think 
that your hair would act as some kind of buffer to the sun, but it doesn't happen. <laughs> Dave Stewart just knocked out Frank Robinson. <laughs> There's the one O. <laughs> what is a fax machine? And why is it so magical? <laughs> Ever drive with your left hand and realize, hey, 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 I've, I've been driving with my left hand for a long time. <laughs> and you switch for absolutely no reason. <laughs> I've never been hit in the face with a baseball, but I'm sure Kevin Seitzer is going to feel some pain after that pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that night with that hose bag. She had four balls on her, and she wasn't walking anywhere. God. <laughs> hey, how about when we made her walk to the vending machine because we wanted her to do that trick with the Clark bar? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than double penetration. <laughs> I can't believe you ate the whole thing. <laughs> As the worm said, but he... <laughs> Arabo. Rico Brodna is going to bat for Bobby Bonilla. <laughs> Vanilla, it's spelled, but it's Bonilla nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus. Bobby Bonilla just shoved Jeremy Burnett's right in the kisser. You know, I have a rockaway bet. <laughs> and my friends are all on Stacker, too. But you don't mix it with beer, so it doesn't really <laughs> work with me. Hideki Arabu just pulled his pants down and relieved himself on the mound. When I drink the stack or two, it goes right through me. Bob, the color in your face is draining. <laughs> is the pneumonia. Pneumonia. Maybe we should take him to go see my father. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, little Nicky. Any more liquid in my lungs, I'm going to need gills. <laughs> oh, I have them? Oh, I don't. I thought you guys were going to go to heaven because of all the good things you did. <laughs> After the story with the hooker in the Clark bar, I kind of have no choice. <laughs> Send us where you will, little man. Just root, root, root for the copies. <laughs> You're watching Little Nicky, Harry Carey, and Bob Murphy beyond the glory. <laughs> He Speaking was, of glory, remember that glory hole <laughs> you were in front of with your three-quarter pads, Harry. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. I didn't know they were three-quarter pads, Bob. I thought they just didn't fit. <laughs> Here I am walking around all night thinking I'm a, a horse's ass because my clothes don't fit. Home plate's on fire. Turns out... <laughs> I'm wearing three-quarter pants. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> now receiving and performing oral sex, <laughs> anyone with three-quarter pants. <laughs> Weiniger, Butch Weiniger. <laughs> Butch Weiniger is gay. <laughs> Ask Dave Winfield. Oh, wow. <laughs> long, strong black arms stroking. Speaking of long black arms, <laughs> Barry Bonds holds that bat like it weighs about one ounce. That's it. <laughs> Aaron, what's going on? That's hey, Jeff Kent. Uh, yes. The funniest thing is when uh, they just run out of things to say during the game and they just start making fun of people. I like vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> when they were playing in Montreal last weekend, uh, they just started wailing on how nobody ever comes to the games and how there's so many empty seats. That's what they got to do. Yeah, I wonder why. It's the, it's the Mets. Thing. Oh, oh Jesus. help me out. No, look, oh, I can't understand nice. why there's not more people here. You know, I saw more people uh, out of the glory hole last night, the pitch high and wide for ball two. I don't understand these Mets, Bob. <laughs> Here's a team that just last year pushed the Yankees to the brink of elimination. In game two of the World Series. <laughs> <laughs> and they get a Japanese guy to replace Mike Hampton. Shit. 
Shuji. <laughs> they had Matsado Yoshi. Shuji. I guess you're only allowed one Japanese man per team in the National League because we know that the Seattle Mariners are chock full of Japanese players. <laughs> Suzuki, Sasaki, and Suzuki. <laughs> eat, 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 eat your lunch. Eat your... He'll be rookie of the year probably. Each, 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 or each. <laughs> Way inside the Gutierrez. Wow. Hey, Bob. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. When did he take you off of that bag? <laughs> well, I, my colostomy bag is quite full at the time. Oh. Full of my own feces, which I will throw at you right now. If oh, I can? I could make a request, sir, could you throw it on me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the devil's son. That movie's one of the most underrated movies I've ever seen. Really? I love Little Nicky. I gotta check it out. Oh, I, I laughed. That. So I was in a hotel room watching it. I didn't know, like, there was no one there. Yeah. In Georgia Tech. So I threw the stationery, the hotel stationery, across the across the room because I didn't know how to react. I was like a black person in the front row of the Apollo. <laughs> I was laughing so hard, I was just picking up furniture and throwing it. <laughs> Those windows do not break. If you were like a black person, you would have picked up luggage and jumped on it. <laughs> that was not Jay Moore. That was Jim Norton. Yeah. Jim Norton, Comedy Cellar. Nigel Ennis wow. will meet you there. Adam, what's going on? Hey, man. I cannot believe how funny that is. I almost... <laughs> Est myself in the car, man. I'm sitting here. I almost got in four accidents. Thanks See you later, the... boy. Sticky right. sucks. Right. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. There's nothing like a young guy driving in his car, taking a dump in his pants. <laughs> because no one else on the road has any idea. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I sit next to you. And I know it. But when you're in your car, no one knows it. Hi, this is Bob Murphy for Depend Undergarments. I'm wearing them right now. Oh, no, oh I'm not? Oh, no, hell, I just crap myself. No, you're not, Bob. <laughs> you're not wearing them at all. It's all over the console. I forgot to change my nighty. <laughs> I had a Boy's Life magazine. <laughs> I think little Nicky stole it from me. I don't know if I'm doing Harry Carey or Martin Short doing somebody else. <laughs> spin real spin. Hey! <laughs> Hopefully I notice you wear headphones while you do your radio program. What are the headphones about? What are you listening to? What's the big secret? Here's a guy who does radio for a living. And he's listening to something else in headphones. What's in the headphones, Opie? We all want to know. Grace Routes, there, there's a shit. Opie! Some type of rundown. Bob Murphy, what's in your yeah. headphones? Nothing right now, but I'm just going to drink some beer and do some skin poppers. That sounds fantastic, Bob. Nothing like a little heroin before the game. You know, speaking of heroin, Bob, I remember one time when I was in the Navy. Ball game's over. We'll see you tomorrow night. <laughs> nice. I went to an Indian reservation once with my wife, Helene, and they had teepees and everything Indian you could imagine. There's a fan on the field being pummeled by Ricky Gutierrez. <laughs> you know, the teepee has a hole in the top so the smoke can escape. Bob, I know you like to smoke Paul Malls, so you'd be welcome in my teepee. He's unconscious. <laughs> you'd be welcome in my teepee anytime. I'm not a big fan of the Indians. There goes General Custer walking away from the battle. Oh, wait, no, he's dead. <laughs> Sorry, he's dead. My so, favorite S word is uh. sarsaparilla. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't get a good sarsaparilla too much these days, except for when we go south, like places like Atlanta and Philadelphia. <laughs> south Philly. <laughs> Allen Iverson plays in Philadelphia, and they have a Liberty Bell. 
What I want to know is, hey, I once met a man named Hitler. <laughs> Not many people know Hitler only had one ball on him. <laughs> I knew that. We were in double A Pacoima together way back when I was announcing for the Cardinals. Got fired because I, I stuck my pen in company ink, slept with the owner's daughter. But I... You know, when you put on that uniform of the red birds, there's something primal that comes over you. Cubbies are harmless. But when you're a cardinal strutting your stuff in the press box and you're not 150 years old and you actually get a you feel proud to put on the red bird. I get the same feeling looking at National Geographic's. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing That's better Bob than Murphy a... sitting to my right, uh, left. <laughs> Nothing better than a Negro woman with big long breasts and a neck like a giraffe. I like when their nipples look like swing sets. <laughs> <laughs> and I why the place a, in the lip? I once put a swing set on the roof of my car coming back from Sears. Well, the kid wanted one, you know, and uh, <laughs> oh, I think blew right off, and I got pulled over drunk as a skunk. But fortunately, the police officer was, what do you know? Hey, he was a Cub fan. <laughs> <laughs> he let me go and helped me put the swing set back together. Did you know when you have a swing set hit by the pitch, his sights are again. Second time in the ball game, he's been hit in the face. When you put a <laughs> swing set in the ground, Bob, you have to cement it. Otherwise, your children will fly right off the earth. <laughs> cement the swing set or it makes the ka-clump sound. <laughs> I make the ka-clump sound when I breathe. <laughs> My entire ramble cut in half by one sentence of brilliance. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, man. Oh, we got, we got to go. killing me. Hey, you know, I once went to the sun on a school trip. <laughs> it was very warm. My mother made me wear linen suits, and we all know how wrinkly they get in that heat. And there's no humidity on the sun whatsoever. A helicopter just crashed right into Mark Grace, decapitating him, a la Vic Morrow. <laughs> the sun is a ball of gas. You can't stand on the sun. I tried. <laughs> Luckily, I was wearing sunscreen. There's Grace's head. They're going to put it in a bowling bag and I guess give it to some lucky fan. <laughs> <laughs> we got to take a break. Jay Moore on fire. Yeah, nice. Fire. We'll be back. 212-757-1027.